Art thou pale for weariness of climbing heaven and gazing on the earth, wandering companionless among the stars that have a different birth? The British poet Shelley thought the moon looked tired, cold and lonely when he wrote those lines in the 19th century. But a very different moon has been sweeping through the skies. It was super big, four or five times as big, and it was so lovely. Orange, it was wonderful. The moon almost looked warm as it hovered above Berlin. I love to shoot pictures of the moon. Of course, now it is really big and close to us. And it's a great possibility. The skies are very clear. And when it is above the Brandenburg Gate like this, one has to take a picture. The skyscrapers of Madrid in Spain appeared to shrink as the huge moon climbed upwards, and it edged through the clouds above the streets of Rome. This is a supermoon. It's not bigger, of course, it's just closer. The gap between the moon and the Earth is the smallest it's been in nearly 70 years. That means it's 14% brighter and appears 30% larger than usual. Crowds in New Delhi lined up to catch an even closer glimpse. Absolutely fantastic. It was great. And uh, I mean, it's much different from what you see from your normal eye. This supermoon is said to be the most spectacular one since 1948. Nothing will match it until its orbit brings it close again. But that's not for another 18 years. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera.